Welcome to another music video commentary. Um, this is a project we worked on back in the 80s when we were directors. A young musician couple approached us and they said that they had written this epic love ballad and they wanted to make a music video for it. And straight away I said, this has to be done in space. Yeah, and what better setting to put it in than a space disco cheerleading party that subconsciously reminds the viewer of Romeo and Juliet locking eyes across the dance floor. Definitely, yeah. And in the next scene, we introduce our main character, Luke Skywalker, who was a terrific actor. He was great, but you know what's really strange? He kept insisting that we call him Danny. Yeah, he was generally a pleasure to work with, except for that one thing that he would not let go. He just kept correcting us. I just found it very weird. It was a bit unprofessional. But this next line I want to talk about, You love me, you want to love me tender. How can I be sure you're not pretender? And that's something we have to think about a lot in our real lives. How can we be sure our lovers are not pretender? We need to learn to trust. You know, the entire time we're making this, I was saying the most important thing about this is that it's subtle. It's subtlety. That we can't just rub things in the viewer's face. We have to let them arrive at their own conclusions. You know, art is about what it means to you. It's not about what we want to impose on you. And speaking of subtlety, if you look very carefully here, around the center between the two dancers, you can see the people, the cheerleaders from the original scene. Oh my god, I see and it. And they're back, and they're forming the symbolic barrier. Wow. That's really clever, and it's not, it's not like waving them in your face, you know, it's just, you have to really look for it. Yeah, Luke, Luke suggests that he's actually the choreographer of this whole thing, no. and he did an amazing job. You can he's, see. he's really phenomenal. There's just something so uh, specific about this dance style, it's kind of like modern jazz meets space disco cheerleader. I agree, and you've really got to hand it to the dancers too. I mean, for example, they ad-libbed this entire scene we're seeing this right now. This entire scene is ad-libbed? Yeah, Luke just told them to get up there and figure it out, and so they went and they made this up, and it's just really incredible to watch. It's really amazing, because, you know, I'm watching that and I'm thinking, if I was a space disco cheerleader, that's exactly what I would be doing. They're, they're just so in their characters. And they had a very hard time getting in those characters. I mean, obviously, they're not real space disco cheerleaders. Of course. They're just disco cheerleaders, and they have to take a three-month course in space disco cheerleading, which is vastly different from disco cheerleading, and it has a bit more of a sway to it. You know, as I'm watching this, and we're starting to get towards the end of this video, just like he loves her tender, I love this tender, and, and I'm not pretender, and I just, I really don't want this to end. Me neither, and before it does end, I think it's important that we talk about this one very powerful lyric. And it goes like this, if we all say, want to love you tender, no one has to be a great pretender, and this world would be a better place to live in. Just, I remember hearing that for the first time and thinking, wow, it's, it's such so, a beautiful. It's so powerful. It actually reminds you a little bit of John Lennon's Imagine. You know what, now that you say that, I do see a lot of parallels in the, also stylistically and also lyrically. I actually Just, think that the whole video is nearly identical. I do think so. It's kind of like this, this, uh, this imagining this peaceful world of the future where instead of fighting, everyone just loves each other tender. Thank you for watching this music video commentary. If you have any videos you'd like us to comment on, leave your key under the mat in the entrance to your house and then leave your address in the comments below.